Is it safe to complain to God? There is this common accepted wisdom out there in the world and in the church that reasons in this way. God already knows everything. God is so big and so gracious and so kind. And he is so committed to the virtue and value of honesty that if you find yourself in a place where you have a complaint against him, then he wants you to express that complaint. If you feel angry at the living God, he is powerful enough and gracious enough to be able to handle it if you should shake your fist at him. Well, this perspective outside the church makes perfect sense because we make God in our own image. But inside the church, it reveals a deep and profound ignorance of the nature of God and God's own revelation in God's word. What do I mean? Well, certainly it's true that God knows all things. That's true. Certainly it's true that God knows if we're angry. That's true. Certainly God uh, is big enough that he can take it. That's true. Certainly God is gracious. That's true. And God says that we are to treat him as holy. We're to give him honor. We see what happens to those who grumble against God over and over again in the Bible. Read through the book of Exodus and you'll see people not just grumbling against God, but grumbling against Moses, God's appointed leader for his people. And those people that grumbled had things not turn out so well. If that's not enough for you, if you feel like, well, hey, the problem with their complaining was they actually had things much better. They were better off in the wilderness than they were in slavery. And so they were just ungrateful. But, you know, I'm going through real genuine hardship and therefore God wants me to know. Have you considered Job? There was none righteous like him on the earth. And he went through a list of hardships that made his name synonymous with suffering. And he didn't complain, and he didn't complain, and he didn't complain, and finally he did. He Finally he goes to God and says, what gifts, what in the world are you doing? And God says, I'm so glad you're open and honest with me. And that's not what he says. God says, who is this who darkens my door with counsel? Who invited you to correct me? Let me ask you a couple of questions, Job. Were you there when I made the stars cry out? Were you there when I built Leviathan in the sea? Were you there for any... Job, I'm God, and you're not. Now, when we affirm that God is big, and we are rightly affirming, hey, he's not afraid of our displeasure. That's true. That doesn't mean he's going to put up with it. So what do we do when we're angry with God? We repent. Yes, we should be honest. Yes, go before him and don't tell him I'm mad at you in a sense that communicates I should be. But rather go before him, Lord, I am so sorry. I've got this anger in me. I know that it's not correct. I know that it's not right. I'm begging you to forgive me. That's openness. That's honesty. And that is not affrontery. God is big, but he tells us, I will be treated as holy by those 
who approach me.